Well, hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve. Uh, welcome you back to the sixth episode. Yes, the sixth episode of our random roll zoo here that we're currently spiraling around. Hope nobody's getting dizzy. I'll go ahead and stop that. Uh, for those of you just joining us in progress, the premise of this game has been that we're using a random number generator to pick a number between one and, uh, well, the number is 578 because that's how many animals I currently have available with all the mods I have installed. Basically, we're just letting the random number generator pick a number, and we're building an exhibit based on whatever animal it comes up with. So if it gives us five, we go to one, two, three, four, five, and we would be building an American alligator exhibit. So far, that has given us some Darwin's Rias over here. Uh, we've got a Barrel exhibit, or some Himalayan mountain goats, the endangered Indian vultures in this area, we got a little exhibit with some greater horned owls that we built a barn for, and that gave us an excuse to build a bathroom and an information area. And then the last episode, we had to build an exhibit for some dimetrodons that we just built in this area here. So today, we're obviously going to be continuing on this pathway past the great horned owls into the wide open spaces where we won't be cramped in anymore in the corner and we'll kind of be able to build more freely. So hopefully, maybe we'll get a big animal to celebrate that. Maybe not. No way of knowing. Let's go ahead and hit the random number generator and find out what we're going to be getting today. And the number is... 391. Okay, let's take a quick count and see what we get. Alright, so... 378. Uh, I think it's going to be on this page then. 7980. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 90. 390 and 391 is going to be the Indian rhinoceros. So we are going to get a nice big animal to put in here. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Uh, we're following this pathway off, which means we can probably build just a nice, nice big circular one right here. And we can get very creative. I don't know if I've ever done rhinos on this channel, have I? Well, we're, if I haven't before, I'm doing them today because that's what the role determines. So let's go ahead. I'm going to drop into build mode, come up with a nice big rhino exhibit for us, and uh, I'll join you in the walkthrough. See you then.
Okay, let's go through the walkthrough so we can check out our brand new Indian rhinoceros exhibit. Uh, our zoo became more famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and head in. We've got the VIP pass. We don't even have to stop at the ticket booths. How are you doing, Barls? Very good. It looks like the Darwin's Rias are actually having issues, but that's because there are like a million little baby Darwin's Rias now. I haven't been like grooming the population. So lots of angry little babies. They're probably going to rise up and kill us all. Don't worry about it. Moving on. Walking past the Indian vultures. Strutting around like they own the place. Uh, past the info, uh, we're not going to go ahead and visit our uh, totally dimorphodons. Totally still dimorphodons. Uh, past the great horned owls. And now we'll see that there's kind of these three diverging paths that aren't really flushed out except for the extreme right hand one. Let's go ahead and go into that area. And you can see we've got our Indian rhino display here. One hanging out real cool there. Real, real cool. Going to eat from the substrate. Yes, and I can see two of them. When we get in the higher areas, it's actually easier to see a little bit. But I can see two hanging out right here. Yes, yes. I believe those are both females because they have the shorter horns. That's a larger male horn. Yes, very good. I got a little water hazard over there in case they want to uh, get some drinking in. Obviously, very good, very good. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good exhibit. I've obviously got the males and females split because I've got those uh, logs down the middle, but hopefully that's not too intrusive and that'll let me control the breeding uh, so we don't have the problem that we're currently experiencing with our Darwin's Rias. Uh, yeah, yeah, that came out pretty good looking. I don't have any problems with that. Let's go ahead and check it out from the zookeeper side. Do, 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 do. So you may have noticed back here that uh, I've gone ahead and put in a special zookeeper-only gate. And that's going to lead us into this back area here. Where we're going to have eggs. Uh, that's the entrance to our Great Horned Owls. We can go up the ramp to take care of our barrels. But right now, we'll go ahead and enter into the uh, area with our rhinoceri. Very good. Everything's looking fine here. There's a little sink with a mirror up. Oh, I can see the one. There's something I'm very proud of, something that I usually forget to do, but really should do all the time. I've got a little off exhibit uh, outside area for our rhinos here. So you can see that one of our males has wandered out here already from the inside. So that's at least working. Looks like they're having some fun with the uh, scratching post. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need a cough button, I guess. Oh well. I don't know why he's stuck on the scratching post. That's obviously a little interesting thing there. Let's uh, pick him up and move him a little bit. There, he looks a little less jittery now. Yay! But he's got a nice little off exhibit area so they can have him outside, they can take care of themselves, and they're not constantly looking at the people. That, of course, also rapidly expands the size of their exhibit because their exhibit is actually this section, this section, the whole inside area, and the off, uh, off display outside area. So they've actually got quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, area open to them. So they shouldn't be feeling like they're uh, running out of space. I'm guessing that, um, oh, oh, I think this one's gonna go inside. That's good, that's exactly what I wanna see. Or maybe they're gonna go in the water. That's also great too. Put in a nice little artificial pool there. Kind of kept it a little artificial looking just to make it more zooey. Um, just because I knew I was going to have these... Vis the reason I did that, let me explain, is because I had these visible buildings I knew that everyone's going to see. So I didn't think it was a real reason to make the uh, water look, like, ridiculously realistic. Instead, I just kind of, uh, kind of blended it in with the building, so it looks like it's all one thing. And I'm pretty happy with that that turned out. Looks like they're not having too much problems. Uh, they look a little janky when they're using the scratching post, but other than that, uh, they appear to be getting around pretty good. Uh, let's just hop in there so we can refill the food, because we apparently have some hungry, hungry rhinos. Not hippos, obviously. These are hungry, hungry rhinos. You thought I was going to go for hippos, you were wrong. All right, get everything filled up there. Of course, we can always dash inside here real quick and then dash back out on this side. That way we don't have to go into the uh, inside cages all the time. Put up a couple of those uh, play with them barrels, so maybe I'll get rid of the scratching posts in the future and just put the barrels down so we don't have the uh, little funky 
back and forth, back and forth thing going on. But other than that, I think this exhibit came out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, they even have enough room to charge. So these are perfect sized exhibits as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your time with me today, learning how I would build a Rhino exhibit if I was suddenly forced to do one. Uh, I'm pretty pleased that I figured out a way that I could get that back area for all the zookeepers to take care of all three of those exhibits. So that way it's just like a little nexus here of all three, and we're not having people run around. So in the future, uh, we can keep going to the right with our rhinos. We can go more or less straight ahead. We can also loop back around to the right and start building exhibits there. So we've got a lot of options, whatever our next random roll is. And that's something I wanted to do with the zoo. So I wasn't having to cram them into the same area or into whatever area we had left over and over. So mission accomplished there. Mission accomplished with the rhinos. Once again, I hope you liked this exhibit. If you really did, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, I do post infrequently, so the best way to know when new episodes of this come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and then hit that little bell icon. Uh, other than that, this has been Zoo Tycooner Steve. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I'm saying bye!